I bow unto you all once again. Here we go, grade 10, chapter 2, sixth time we are learning this science subject. Motion in a straight line as per the Sri Lankan government school syllabus. And we are going to learn about displacement time graphs. Wow! Now we want to understand this displacement time graph in a very slow way because you shouldn't confuse yourself with other things. So let's get into the subject and find out how the displacement time graph works. Here we go, displacement time graphs. Graphs that illustrate how the displacement of a body varies with time are known as displacement time graphs. These graphs are plotted by marking the time on the x-axis. Okay, here we go. In this, graphs are plotted by marking the time on the x-axis. Here we go. The time is in this x-axis. Always remember. And in the y-axis, you can see the displacement. This is y and this is x. Now, do you see this one? And you can find out the velocity from this beautiful displacement time graph. We're going to see that one. We will do that one and see. Graph that illustrate over here, it's like this. You see, now, in zero time, the displacement is zero, which is over here. In the first second, the displacement is three. Here it is one. First second and the displacement is what? Three. And when the, it is moving into second second, the displacement is, it is six second. You can see that one for three, it is nine second. Look at the graph and the chart clearly. For the fourth second, it is moving, the displacement is 12. And the fifth, it, the displacement is 15. When you're plotting the graph, the line will become like that red line. You can see that. Now, we can find the velocity out of it. Here you go. The gradient. Difference between y and x. Difference between y coordinates and difference between x coordinate. That's course displacement by divided by time. And you can find out the velocity. As per this equation, the gradient is BC divided by AC. Now, when we are dividing BC, yes, B15 and 3. You see this? That's 15 and 3. Once again, you see 15 and 3. That is BC. BC. This 15 and this 3. 15 minus 3 meter and this as exactly like that you have to find out the AC also the first is 5 is the the last second and the one is minus 1 over here so that says 15 minus 3 is 12 meters and 5 minus 1 is 4 second so what is the velocity of this particular gradient 3 meters per second what is that 3 meters per second so you can find out easily with the graph how to find out the velocity displacement versus time or displacement time graph when they are given when you're finding out the gradient bc and ac bc divided by ac you can find out the velocity from that graph so that's very easy right do some exercises and some from your book and find out these things. If a chart is given like this, the chart is given like that, you can exactly plot a graph, you can exactly plot a graph exactly like this, displacement, time graph, time is in the x-axis and the displacement is in the y-axis and you can plot it. When time is 0, where's the displacement? When time is 1, where's the displacement? You found out. And finally, you're finding out the BC divided by AC. Voila, that's the velocity. 
way of finding the velocity from the graph. That's all for the session. We found out how to find it. Till I meet you again in another session. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself.